basically spark plugs are fairly simple bits of kit. I mean, we've, most of us have probably mm. changed them in our car and we're all sort of familiar with what a, a yeah. plug looks like. This is a, uh, from one of my motorbikes. <laughs> and we're familiar with the electrode down the middle, yeah. the, the insulator on the outside, and then the spark comes from the electrode um, making the spark between that and what we call the J-gap. Um, and this is what we all recognise as a typical spark plug. Mm. Formula One spark plugs have actually evolved since this sort of J-gap design. And they've got away with this um, little J-shaped hook on there. Oh, yeah. And the spark normally goes from the centre just to the outside of the uh, thread here. And that's what they call surface discharge, which means that the plug's much flatter. There's much more space um, for the, uh, the sparks to go rather than being squashed by the piston going up into the uh, combustion chamber. Mm. Uh, but Formula One plugs are much smaller than this. Much, much imagine. smaller than this. Um, I've got a, an M10 bolt here. They're actually only this diameter. 10 mil. 10 mil. Wow. Uh, and into that, you then have to pack the electrode and the space between the electrode mm. and the uh, outer section here. Uh, absolutely tiny, 10 millimeters in diameter for the thread. That's really small. Um, so that's the conventional tech. Now, in researching what happened to Vettel, I've actually found out something quite interesting. Now, we've spoken uh, over many times about what we call the pre-chamber combustion technology. Yep. This uh, Marle is one of the types where they have the turbulent jet ignition where rather than having the complete combustion within the um, cylinder of the engine, mm. there's a little chamber built into the cylinder head and combustion starts there with a very rich mixture and then flames come out of this chamber which then ignite the much weaker mixture in the main combustion chamber. And this is what allows these current Formula 1 engines to be so powerful with so little fuel that they're able to run very lean mixtures. Now when we've looked right. at pictures in the mm. past uh, and we looked at the Marley paintings and some of the material that has come out around this, you see it's built into the cylinder head and you have a, a separate spark plug and a separate fuel injector. What I've actually found out is they've actually put, put this pre-chamber onto the end of the spark plug. So I have one here. Now all of this pre-chamber technology actually comes from big diesel engines where oh, you're getting a very big mm. cylinder trying to get it to fire properly. Right. So they use... Um, this technology in big industrial engines. So this spark plug clearly isn't from a Formula One car. This is from some, some piece of industrial equipment, very kindly lent to me by um, uh, RM Marsh. And as you see here, rather than seeing the open end of the spark plug, you have an enclosed area. Oh, okay. And fuel is injected into this chamber inside the spark plug. The spark plug fires conventionally, mm. ignites the fuel mixture in here, and in all these little holes here, flames come out, which then, as I say, combust the weaker fuel mixture that's actually inside the gap between the cylinder head and the piston.